So I'm at uh, Western View Diner and Steakhouse today. This is a place I've been coming for years. This place is absolutely amazing. I came here for one thing and one thing only, and that's the Vaquero breakfast. Good. Good. How are you? Yeah, so Western View Diner, Steakhouse, Cafe, bomb. Um, I've been eating here for years, literally, like it's at least 20 years that I have been coming here. And uh, you come in here and you see the same faces, the same dudes sitting at the diner eating. It's, it's, it's an absolute trip. Um, but that's how good they are, that people come back for years and years and years and years. Um, I think they have the best chicken fried steak in Albuquerque. For those of you that don't know what a vaquero is, is it's basically what I normally get huevos rancheros, add chicken fried steak. And uh, yeah, you, you just can't beat that. Now, I did get a recommendation from somebody to go try Vic's Daily Cafe and get their vaquero. So I'm gonna try that. And I've also been challenged. Somebody said that they had to check me on the best huevos rancheros. So I'm gonna go try a restaurant that was recommended to me as well. But you know, it takes weeks to get that. And I was really craving Western View today. Driving down the road, saw this cute little church with a cemetery there decided i'd come up the dirt it's like a dirt road to get over here and check this out but sometimes these places they're left open and i think that's really really cool because anybody who wants to that's religious i'm not like religious but anybody who wants to can come in and uh pray which is really really nice kind of check it out too This one has a book where you can write down your prayers. So I pray that all people find and know peace and happiness. So it looks like this church was established in 1933, which is pretty cool. Back up there. So even a little bit more interesting to me anyway. Came up this dirt road and found a couple. They're pretty old. I mean, there's not going to be much left in here, but pretty cool too at the same time. So while I'm in here like exploring and checking this stuff out, um, take this opportunity to actually thank you guys. I've had like a rough couple of months in my life, but life has a weird way of balancing things out. So like I've had like a really rough part in my life and then my YouTube started growing. So it's like creating balance. I just want to thank you guys for bringing me that because uh, <laughs> I need it. I needed it. I've needed it. So uh, thank you guys, but check this out. I don't know what the blue on the walls, like why it's halfway. I don't know what that was for. Got an old chair in here. Not much left. I mean, these are falling down pretty bad. I think it's kind of crazy on this side. So, I mean, as bad of shape these are in, there's still like wallpaper hanging out, which is just, it's just wild. This is like a really nice floral print. It's kind of cute. Craziness. You know, it's always fun to find a place that has furniture and stuff like that and it's still, and these ones don't. But this is still a really, really interesting one. Pretty cool. So I'm at the Mountain View Cemetery in Cimarron, New Mexico. And here they have Henry Lambert's grave. So Henry Lambert built the St. James Hotel in Cimarron, New Mexico. Um, but before he came out here, he was actually the personal chef for Abraham Lincoln. He came out here and was in Elizabethtown for a little bit. He's a hotelier or whatever you call him. And uh, came out here basically for gold, came out west for gold. And uh, yeah, he built the St. James Hotel, which is where I'm gonna be staying. So I haven't been in the hotel yet. The original headstone is actually in the hotel still. But this is Reverend Franklin J. Tolby, and his assassination basically basically sparked the uh, Colfax County War. Only in a town like this will you see a deer just kind of hanging out in the park like that. Or in the middle of the street like that. I love it. I'm going to move here. That is amazing. So this says that uh, the bullet holes in the saloon bear witness to the wilder days in Cimarron. 
this hotel is really really cool to walk around in not just because it's old but they actually have a lot of history documented on the walls so every old room is named after uh, like a famous person who actually used to stay there and then they have a lot of information on the walls they have a lot of pictures on the walls of these people they have you know little things that you can read about them and you can understand kind of who was staying there it's it's really really cool it's kind of cool because on the historic side they have all of the rooms like available to look in i guess nobody's staying up here tonight or if nobody's staying in the room they open it up but they're all named after people who like to stay in them so like this one's the doc holiday room downstairs was the jesse james room here's wyatt earp the doc holiday room they have these little velvet ropes so you don't go in there but the doc holiday room has a fireplace and everything so this one here room number 18 it's called tj's room this one they actually keep locked and closed because the ghost in there tj is supposedly very very violent and he has pushed people before so they don't actually even let anybody stay in that room the staff doesn't go in there they keep it locked and closed the poker room they have it set up for a game now there's a story that somebody had heard people playing in here before while they were staying here um which is crazy there's a story that somebody was actually playing with somebody and they were playing poker and this is actually the room that i'll be staying in zane gray i guess i can i guess i can take the rope down oh that's kind of a spooky little mirror there I'll give you guys a little tour of the room so you'll actually notice that there is no bathroom this is it's as simple as a room can get there's no heater there's no ac nothing so and you can actually open things like this well maybe that one's a little stuck but to let air flow through which is pretty crazy so you actually have to come down here past the poker room and then this is actually a communal bathroom so if you got to use the bathroom got to come down the hall not a big deal i don't know if anybody else is staying here tonight i don't see anybody else on the floor so do you have a really nice little basket so you can take all your uh, stuff down the hallway and use the bathroom and everything um, jumped on the bed bed seems pretty comfortable so as far as like standard hotel accommodations go it's going to be a decently comfortable room um, the only thing is, I don't know if I'm going to be bothered by any ghosts or not tonight. So I guess technically I could have, there, I mean, there's outlets and everything. I could have brought a box to charge my phone and stuff, but I'm so used to using the, the Jackery that I just brought that. And it's cool because this one's small enough to actually fit in my backpack. So I brought that up for charging and everything tonight. Um, I am planning on going live tonight. So I'm going to go live on YouTube. I'm going to go live on TikTok and live on Instagram probably. And, uh, do some ghost hunting i brought um my spirit box today i made sure that i brought that i was like okay i'm gonna stay in like one of the probably the most haunted hotel in new mexico i mean if not you know if it's not it's one of the definitely i brought extra flashlights too to use as trigger objects or um to see if i can get something to oh this one i brought extra batteries for the flashlights too to see if i can get them uh to maybe trigger them so it's a good thing i brought extra batteries because i do have flashlights so i'll be able to use that as well but um right now i'm just going to do like some general work while i'm hanging out before i go to dinner I'm, i got about an hour before um, the restaurant opens for dinner um, and i'll see what they have down there i'm just going to do like some general work I, I set up a patreon today um, if you guys want to go hit that up that's super helpful if not like no worries i'm still going to post plenty of free content that stuff is just like behind the scenes stuff and it's just a way to help me out zero pressure but um you know go check that out if you want to um, it's 4.99 a month to subscribe to my patreon um, and that helps me just kind of get out here and keep 
keep plugging away and staying on these videos and everything like that. So. So there's a room, the Wade Phillips room, that I really want to see. So I'm just going to sneak in here really quick and check it out. It has a pretty cool fireplace. And like an extra room. And a bathroom. Pretty nice one to move too, man. Wait, Phillips had it all right. Let's see. Spooky. Pretty cool room though. Should have booked this one, but it was like a hundred bucks more. And I see why. Right. So right now I'm just kind of setting up a couple of things. I got a flashlight. Like I said earlier, I'm going to use that as kind of like a uh, like a trigger object. I'm just going to place it on the bed there, basically. I have another flashlight, and this is because when I cut out and go completely dark, um, you guys won't be able to see me. Uh, and then, of course, I have the spirit box there. So let me get this set up really quick. Xbox. And then uh, basically right now I'm going to conduct a little EVP section, session with the uh, spirit box and then um, maybe ask it to manipulate the light as well and we'll see if we get anything. So. this kind of near the, the camera so you guys can hear it. Let's see. <clears throat> so my name is James. Um, I am here trying to get to know you and uh, I did have a few questions for you. So I have this light here on the bed. You guys can press a button and get it started up. You can answer yes or no with that, or you can answer on the box that's over there by my camera. If you speak into it, you guys can speak to me, okay? Why are you still here? What is your name? Spirits present in this hotel. Is there anybody here with me right now? That's me on the chair. Can you talk? Turn this light on for me that I have right here on the bed. Were you killed here at the St. James Hotel?
Can you speak to me? Can you make a sound? What is your name? What are you doing here? Did you play poker in the poker room down the hallway? Anything coming through on this? Can you show yourself in the mirror behind me? Can you speak to me on the device that's on the nightstand here, or the dresser here? Tell me your name. Make yourself known. Why are you still here? Is anybody here? Who are you? yourself known. speak to me. Can you make a sound? Can you manifest in the mirror?
Hopefully you made something level. Okay, I just heard something kind of weird come through the spirit box. I don't know if the camera would have picked that up. Are you coming through the spirit box right now? Are you trying to speak to me? Tell me your name. What are you doing here? Female? Are you female? not having any luck with the spirit box or the flashlight or anything yet um but you never know the night is still kind of young i kind of want to go out like into the hallways and, and run the spirit box but there's somebody in the room next to me i want to freak them out i don't want to be walking up and down the hallways while they're trying to sleep and i don't even know if it's allowed you know what i mean so i might try to sneak out but um, there's not really like the ability to be quiet. Like if I open my door, they're gonna hear it. Um, the sound kind of really echoes in here. You can really, really hear it. So we'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. But I tried to run a pretty good spirit box session. And I didn't come up with anything. For those of you that just tuned into my live, thank you so much for showing up. It was the first time that I've done it. I was like really nervous. I was actually shaking and then um, everything like that. I don't want to keep you guys too long. I wasn't sure of the quality and all that other stuff, but um, thank you guys. That's something that I might try to do more of um, because, you know, quite a few of you actually popped in and said hi, and I really appreciate that. You guys made me really happy. You guys made my night. So thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. We'll say it's nine degrees outside right now. So that's the warmest night that I've had in a while. unofficial bank of Cimarron during the Great Depression. That one safe. And then this is the original dining room with bullet holes still in the roof. This is the room actually where 24 people have died. And they have a mounted antelope butt. Warming up the truck, so I figured I'd show you guys the outside. So this part, I stayed, actually I stayed around the other side, I believe. Um, but this is the original part of the hotel. They do have a new annex where there's like newer rooms, but I wanted to stay in the classic ones. So that is what it looks like though. Yeah, so my room was right, right up there, the second window. Staying here was, um, you know, I didn't have any ghostly experiences or anything like that, but it was a really special thing for me to do. It was something that my grandma wanted to do before she passed away, and I don't think she ever got the chance. I don't think she ever took the opportunity to come out here and stay. And it's something that she always talked about. I remember uh, 
I can't remember why, but when we when I was a kid, we had stopped here and we just stopped to look around. We didn't stop to stay. And um, I don't know. It was really nice to kind of fulfill that and check this one off of my list. This is something that's been on my list ever since then. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, it was a special and unique experience. It was a special and unique day and it's a special and unique building. That's how cold it was last night. I went to grab some water and it was all frozen. This is after I've been driving for like 20 minutes. I can't remember why, but my mom's looking for a rubber duck with a Zia symbol. So I came into this truck stop to check it out really quick. I had to run back out and get my phone because it's so cool in here. You got Elvis playing guitar right there. I don't see any rubber ducks, but it's pretty cool that they have all these classic cars and everything in here. And then all these cutouts, you got like Betty Boop. Lots and lots of Elvis, there's John Wayne. There's Jesus. Like a little mini car museum in there, pretty cool. You guys know I wanted breakfast, come on now. Check out this place, Elida's Cafe. So I don't know if I'm a travel channel or if I'm a food review channel. I'm having like a little channel identity crisis because I've eaten three times in this one video. But this place, Elida's Cafe. <clears throat> the huevos rancheros were good. Um, their green chili was like a sauce and I don't really like green chili sauce, but their red chili was amazing. And it was dark red and full of meat and like that homemade style, I loved it. A lot of people make red chili different ways. And usually like I prefer green to red, but there I preferred their red to their green. And the, uh, when it's really dark red and, and just, it has like this homemade flavor. Like I can tell that that's somebody's grandma's recipe and they make it there. Oh, so good. I just stumbled across one of the craziest little ghost towns that I have ever seen and never heard of at all. I have no idea what this town is called. I just was following a dirt road that I randomly, I saw this building from, from like the side street. And uh, I was like, let me go check that out. There's some insane art over here. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Look at that. So I'm not going to make a full video of this town. Um, I just came down here to, to see it because this is where I will be staying next week. Because there's a bunch of houses there's a bunch of stuff actually to see out here. So I'm actually going to stay out here next week. But man, holy smokes. That is so cool. I definitely don't want to give you guys too much because I want you to come back next week. But the art in here is actually really cool. It's not just graffiti. There's It's actual art. And that is so, so cool. This is the building that brought me out here. And the rest of the buildings are going to bring me back. Back home. So that's it, guys. Um, really appreciate you guys tuning in for this video. And then I'll see you next week for that ghost town.